Is Allen and Ginter still a time-honored tradition in the hobby, dating back to 1887? Or has it just gotten far too gimmicky in 2023? Let's talk about it. Hey, what's going on YouTube? RGL coming at you, and I know I'm a little bit late on this release. Releasing last week, we had 2023 Tops Allen and Ginter Baseball. Uh, been around in the hobby since 1887. It's like 140 years old at this point. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, I appreciate your like on my content. And as I said in the intro, is this one just a time-honored tradition that's not for everybody uh, these days? Or has Tops and Fanatics taken Allen and Ginter and gimmicked it up far too much? We're going to talk about that. Of course, the big appeal this year is the autographs of Victor Wimbignana from the NBA, the number one overall pick, presumably Rookie of the Year, unless Chet Holmgren, who I think will have something to say about that. And then also the inclusion of the Fanatics exclusive NFL quarterbacks as well. I am talking about CJ uh, Stroud and Bryce Young, who both, I believe, have autographs in this set. You're also going to find autographs of celebrities, uh, some of the rapper cards, and uh, big celebrities do very well, although don't expect to find uh, Miss T. Swizzle in here, who, uh, man, if Taylor Swift was in this set, this would be $200 a box, but this one is coming in around $100, $125 or so. Seen pricing all over the place. We are going to find three autographed, three hits, essentially. Autograph cards, relics, rip cards, printing plates, book cards. Uh, there's like dinosaur fossils in here. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Uh, obviously, it is a baseball-driven set, but it's probably about like, honestly, about 60% baseball and the rest non-sports. And it, it it's oddities. Let's, let's call it what it is. It's a little bit of everything. Um, now, has it gotten too gimmicky? Uh, I did see that Jared Blesnick of the Blez put out some bounties on the two Fanatics employees that are uh, a part of this set. They have autographs. Is it getting too gimmicky? Yes, I do think that we are approaching that level. Um, you know what? I like, you know, the little bit of, you know, the little bit of weirdness to it. I think once in a while a set like that is cool and awesome. But do we, are we... Are we really ripping Allen and Ginter for baseball? Are we really ripping it for this awesome rookie class with Corbin Carroll and Yoshida? Others, no. We are absolutely not ripping a baseball set looking for rookies. What we are looking for is Victor Wembenyana, the NFL QBs, and uh, some of the some of the big name celebrities. And and I think that that is where we have gotten straight a little far too off the path, in my opinion. Now I've always loved Ginter for for the chromium cards. And uh, they're out there. I've opened four boxes off camera and I've yet to even get one single chrome. Um, so maybe they aren't in here. I have not actually re read the pack odds. I have to assume, uh, unless like last year with Allen and Ginter Chrome, they've just totally removed all the chrome cards and that is its own standalone set. And um, yeah, I don't think we need two Allen and Ginter sets a year. We're going to get one oversized box loader on top and then 24 packs, eight cards per pack. And you know, like I've been saying in many of these tops videos, Fanatics coming in, uh, buying tops, and we're really starting to now see the changes in place uh, that they have made. And uh, most of the products that they have released are good. This one just kind of feels like it's a little over gimmicky for me. So this one might be the first one that really misses the mark. I've opened four boxes, mostly mems. I think I've gotten one auto total, um, but a lot of a lot of mems. And I think it's I think in a 12 box case you can expect to find. Three autographs, four autographs per box is what I saw. Don't quote me on that. Um, here's going to be our oversized. These can be autographed. Um, but we have a box loader of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. on the... I believe these are a 5x7, maybe an 8x10, actually. Um, yeah, oversized box loader. I never know what to do with these. I never know. Um, but let's go ahead and rip into some Allen and Ginter. I think we can zoom out a little bit. Jeez, we're, we're in a little bit tight there. We can zoom out a little bit. And uh, take a look. Design pretty standard with most A and G sets. Uh, if I miss anything, because we're not going to be able to... There's Robert De Niro. That's kind of cool. Teddy Ballgame. Uh, Chris Bryant. A lot of minis. If you like minis, this set is for you. There's Stone Street. And uh, music to your ears of the harp. Is that the... Or the lyre? Lear? The Lear? Um, so if this is... I don't know. Some people... I would imagine some people love Ginter. Some people just don't get it. For me, I'm kind of in the middle. 
Um, I love the set. I can appreciate the lineage. There's our Ardu Bijan. Or, uh, no, that's, uh, I thought that was Bijan, but it's, uh, Shoelace Robinson. Is that Bijan? Yeah. Why, why are they calling him Denard? It's B, it's Bijan. I was like, I don't even know his first name. Uh, Alex Bomb. Arenado is going to be on the frame. Uh, we have a mini of, uh, only in New York. And then a, uh, a sparrow hawk not a golden hawk a sparrow hawk um yeah i think this one's gotten a little too gimmicky i would like to see it get back to basics kind of get back to the origins of you know i ripped a lot of ginter in 06 07 08 there's will levis right there uh and i don't know it's just it doesn't feel like the same for some reason we have another mini of uh albert pujols and then a bobachette also maybe i'm just a little bit salty because griffey is a red ichiro is a marlin and um Randy Johnson is an expo in this set. Why would they do that? So maybe that's another reason I'm a little bit salty. Um, again, the boxes are only a hundred bucks. Uh, I don't even know who this is. Captain Sandy Yawn, a personality. Okay. Uh, there are going to be celebrities if you don't follow pop culture. There are going to be celebrities. You have no idea. There's Tovar right there. And a harp. Good old harp. I don't mean to harp on it, but... I don't know about Ginter anymore. I know I ripped a box last year and I wasn't feeling it and feel like the same this year. I don't, I don't know what, what needs to change, but I don't know. Uh, there's Strider. Z uh, Zito. It's going to be a red ANG of Tim Wakefield. Red, uh, black mini, excuse me. And a ukulele. A lot of music to my ears in this box. want to thank you for joining me. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Is, uh, is Ginter your thing? Are you really into this set? Let me know. There's Ricky Henderson, of course. And there's Yoshida. Uh, we have ooh, Griffey for the reds on the... Uh, on the silver fr fl frame, black frame, I believe. Uh, DeGrom, another br black, fl black frame mini. That's hard to say. And Eric Gagne. We'll rip through a box. This is actually my fifth box. I'll probably rip one more at some point. Uh, Mark Mulder, Prado. And again, I am kind of breezing through it. Another mini, and that is going to be uh, Glaber Taurus. I am breezing through it, so after you rip a box, you should always look on the back. See if you have any Ginter back. See if you have any error cards because that is a very, very big part of the set is the error cards, the hand-numbered cards. Um, there are a lot of things to look for unless they've made changes and removed those. Uh, of course, you can always look at the numbering on the back. All the base cards will be the same. If you have a variation, it will be different. So that is the easiest way to identify whether or not your card is an error card. And from there, you can figure or a variation card. And from there, you can figure out exactly what that error or variation might be. Cool change. One of the better changes that they've made in uh, recent years. Uh, Nems, who I don't know who it is. I don't. I don't really stay up too much with pop culture. Uh, that is going to be old Smoltzy. I know. I know John Smoltz when I see him though. And uh, Max Scherzer on his 20 strikeout game back in 2016. Felix has a card of his perfect game from 2012, which is very cool. I don't know who Stone Street is. Uh, there's a Gunnar Henderson rookie. I know about Gunnar Henderson. Uh, Volpe, I know who, who, who Anthony Volpe is. I, I do know Kevin Hart, though. I do know Kevin Hart. He's the little kid that The Rock always makes fun of. Uh, International Delights. Looks like it has carbs, so I can't eat that. And uh, we have a Barn Owl. I know a little bit about Barn Owls. I know a lot about Barn Owls, actually. I used to work on a... Uh, in, uh, one of the jobs that I worked at, we had teams that were all named after... after uh, animals and we were owls uh david cohen i think we have our first hit right here that is gonna be palmer is that cole palmer ollie palmer i don't know anything about ollie palmer i thought that was like cole palmer from man uh man city but he's young and he doesn't have a beard uh so our first of three hits is gonna be a uh gonna be a footballer of uh palmer we have another mini that is uh george springer and uh don drysdale on the uh on the moments or whatever you want to call that one. Uh, it, that one is called... What is that called? I always forget the name. Uh, spotless... Uh, s spotless Spans. That's what that one's called. Looking for a big auto. Looking for something cool. You know, it would be cool to see like a fossil or presidential hair if those are still in. Edwin Diaz. I know something about Edwin Diaz. A little electric Eddie form. A Mariner alert right there. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and finish this box, see what we can find. I think we might have our second hit right here. 
Might be another, it might be a framed relic. Um, maybe no, framed relic. Oh, Mariner's box. Okay. I'm not so, not so salty anymore. We have Ken Griffey Jr. You hit the kit. Hey, nice little PC card. So for all the, I don't get it, Ginter treating me right. This has definitely been the best box that I've opened, truth be told. That's like my favorite card that I pulled so far. A little piece of game used bat on the framed relic of King Griffey Jr. I'll take that for the PC. One to remember the box. Uh, one to remember this uh, box by the Secretary Bird. Is that set called ta Talented? It's called Talented, really. Did I stutter? I was like, wait a minute, these are all birds. All right, we should have one more hit left. We've yet to see an auto. I'm actually going on my fifth box here without seeing an auto, so I guess I'm just really, really bad at picking the boxes. Uh, who is that? That is Kyle Gordon, a comedian. Uh, that's Tom Schwartz, a TV personality. I don't know who a lot of these people are. Maybe my wife would enjoy ripping this a little bit more. Maybe she's more familiar. Uh, Andre Ethier, I know who that is, and uh, Reed Detmers with the immaculate inning. Yeah. Bob Gibson, I know a thing or two about Bob Gibson and Ezekiel Tovar. Uh, what? What? Uh, Timmy Trumpet. Okay. Uh, why can't we just have Fred Durst in the set? Just give me Fred Durst or Ozzy Osbourne or Taylor Swift. There's old Randy Johnson on it on an Expos card. We're gonna pretend they didn't do that. That's Adam Lefko. I know who Adam Lefko is. A Griffey on the Reds. They're just tormenting me with that card. Aaron Judge, uh, that is going to be a Brandon McCarthy. Allen and Ginter back right there. And then a Verlander. So I'm happy with the Griffey. Uh, Griffey stuff does sell out of Allen and Ginter. I, I am pretty sure at this point, being five boxes in, not seeing a single Chrome, that they have removed the Chromes. Because I can't imagine opening five boxes and not, not getting one. Uh, Benny Wasserman, again, I am trying to record this video without it being a half hour long. So I'm very likely missing some short print base cards. So uh, after the video, I'll go back through. If there's anything super rare, I will uh, let you guys know. Uh, but, you know, for the sake of not sitting here looking at the backs of every single card and uh, recording a 30-minute video, uh, I'll, uh, the Enigma Zoo. I don't know who that is. Uh, Maddox, Bruhan, uh, David Eckstein. That is going to be the Independence Hall. And then Ichiro. 460 average during a 60 game span in 2004. That was the year he broke George Sisler's record, I believe. I believe that was his hits year. There's an Otani. Maybe Otani will be a Mariner next year, hopefully. It's not going to happen. Uh, Ezekiel Duran, and then Fun in the Sun, wakeboarding. All right, we're looking for one more hit today. I wanna thank you for joining me. I was looking back at my old Allen Ginter videos and they're some of my worst performing videos, so if you're watching this one, thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, not a lot of Allen and Ginter, people who want to watch Allen and Ginter boxes on YouTube, according to the historical data. Uh, Miguel Tejada right there. We have a black border of Mookie Betts and Randy Johnson for the Diamondbacks. There. Randy Johnson on every team that he played for in this one, probably, but the Mariners. Probably not the Astros either, let's be honest. Astros, Randy Johnson cards are hard to come by. Uh, we might have our final hit right here. Uh, Hank Aaron, is that going to be like a short print? We have a mini of Carlos Rodon. Don't think that Hank is going to be anything. We can actually look on the back. I thought for a second it, it might actually be a high number because you can see on the back, this one ends in 9-1. This one ends in 7-6. So it's either a high number or it's a short print. And I could easily pick that one off. And uh, I could easily tell, but either a high number or a short print. And uh, we should still we should still have one hit or uh, one hit left in the box. I'm hoping it's an auto. Hoping it's a Wemby. I've, oh, it's a mem, of course. It's a mem. Another three mem box right there. Uh, Valina Bun B Verdugo. Another three mem. Oh, I guess it could be a framed auto. It's probably not, but it could be. It's another Griffey. What the hell? It's another Griffey. I, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss right here. I'm seeing double here. Four Krusties. Oh, uh, man, Gene. Did we really hit two of the same Griffey as a mem? Hey, if I'm going to hit three mem, this is probably, in fairness, 
This is probably the guy to hit. Uh, both of them the exact same card. I was like, wait a minute. The other one might be hand numbered. Um, so yeah, anyways, I have two Griffies and a Palmer as my three Mems. And I don't think I'm allowed to be mad about that. I really don't. I don't think I'm allowed to be upset when I hit two Griffey Mems, both the same card. I was expecting to turn it over and seeing an Allen and Ginter back or a hand numbered on one, but I guess we're just getting two of the same Mem today. And when it's Griffey, I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see if we can find anything in these last few packs. Want to thank you for joining me. Fun little, fun little box. This one definitely the best of the five that I've ripped. Uh, there's uh, Will the Thrill. Mini is going to be uh, Josh Bell. And then we got Clayton Kershaw again. Two packs left today. We're going to get a bonus hit. Probably not. Probably not. Ichiro. Uh, is that Meek Mill? See, I know something. I know something about pop culture. Uh, we have Dylan Cease. Mini of uh, Freed. And then a uh, Buzzard. Follow the Buzzards. All right. Last pack of the day. Fun rip. Fun rip. I think last year I had like a... Yelich Mem and yeah, some stuff I, I don't want to remember. Um, we've got A Rod for the yeah, A Rod for the Rangers, of course. Uh, we've got Don't Mess with Texas and uh, Garrett Cole. So overall, um, let's take a look at the minis. I put all the minis in one spot. Let's see if we got any hand numbered minis. Uh, but I'll show you kind of what I was talking about. Uh, you got the Allen and Ginter back right there. Um, you'll see so another Allen and Ginter back on the Glaber. Uh, we're looking for the ones that are going to have the most value. Another Allen and Ginter back. The ones that will have the most value are going to be the hand-numbered ones, especially if you get any, like, one ones or numbered to 25. But you can see the Allen and Ginter backs, uh, set collectors who try to put together the whole set. They're going to go crazy needing those Ginter backs, needing if there's any other backs, they're going to need those. Um, but after you rip a box of Ginter, my best suggestion would be to look at the backs. Again, look at that little number down there. And if you get any base cards that have a different number on the back than what the other ones are number two, I believe, like I said, the base card is a seven, six, and then all the variations, high numbers, things like that, error cards are going to be numbered like a different number. So that you'll know that those ones are going to be the ones that you might want to look up and see what they're selling for, because you might be sub sub uh, surprised what some of the error cards, some of the variations in Ginter sell for. Because again, with a product like this, you are absolutely not not chasing the three hits per box. Because more often than not, your hits are going to be mems. But thankfully, uh, today it was a Griffey box, not just with the two Griffey mems, but also with the Griffey uh, border as well. Which I don't collect uh, Reds Griffey that much, but I will definitely take these two for the PC. Those are my thoughts. Leave me your comment. Let me know what you think of Allen and Ginter. Are you ripping any this year? Are you a Ginter? Life, or do you love to put together the set, or is this one just a pass for you? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I know we're late to the game with Ginter, but we still had to get it in on the channel. That's going to do it for me. Take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you next time on Down the Road.